Well, Kevin and I are out back, and I have two new YouTube channels that I'm obsessed with. I have subscribed to both of them. It is, I think it's SB Mowing, like S and B is a boy. SB Mowing and SB Power Washing. And I will watch this guy, like literally transform a yard, clean it up completely. I will watch him power wash. Like he would come out here and clean all of this off and these would look brand new. These, these, these pavers would look brand new. And so anyway, I was watching him on a video today and he had gone to somebody's house to trim, uh, to, to clean up the yard. But part of that was trimming the bushes out front. And the bushes were taller than he is. He looks to be about, he looks to be maybe a little shorter than Kevin. I don't know. He looks to be about Kevin's height. But the bushes out front were taller than Kevin, uh, taller than him. And he had this tool that he was, that he put on the end of his weed eater. And he was trimming the bushes. And I showed it to Kevin and I said, hey, <laughs> we need to get one of these tools because we have a time trimming our bushes every single year out front. We've lived here for like 10 years now, and so we have to get the ladder, and we ha it's just a pain when you want to get behind the bushes between the house and the, bu then the bushes. It's really, really hard to fit in between, um, and you're worried about spiders and getting caught on the branches, and it's just not fun. So, Kevin um, looked up. We have... Um, we have actually two weed eaters. This is our gas weed eater. And he looked up to see if it could have an att attachment on it. And it could. So we bought, we went in Lowe's. And this is called Trimmer Plus. And it's AH721 multi-brand compactable add-on articulating hedge trimmer. Um, so this is what it looks like. And it gives you a lot more um, length on here to go over the top of the bushes and so that you can cut, um, you could cut taller bushes. Yeah. And it bends, it also bends at an angle, which is awesome for us. Um, so this was like $130 at Lowe's. And I did keep the receipt, so in, in case it didn't work or it didn't fit or anything like that, we can use it. But um, I will show you. I've shown before every year when we trim the bushes, I usually set the camera up and film it. So if you were watching last summer, you would have seen when we um, trim the bushes out front. I still... Um, I do plan to take out the bushes back here. So I had asked in a vlog, I, I was asking everybody, what do you think? Do you think we should remove the bushes out here? It was a resounding yes. Yes, take the bushes out. So I am going to take the bushes out. I just haven't done it yet. And uh, so that will come. Maybe that will be in the same video. Uh, I might just put uh, the bushes and uh, out front and these bushes in the same video um we'll see but i do plan to take these out because I, they're just they're completely unnecessary and and we just don't need them they were never needed honestly um so it looks like kevin put gas in his um this is the Troy belt. We did do a video of this. We've had questions if it still worked. It's worked fine. We haven't had any issue out of it, have we? No, the, the, I got the electric one for the battery part just because it's, it's a, more of a pain to pull this one out and we need regularly. But if I'm doing the head trimming, that doesn't happen very often anyway, so it's not a big deal. This is kind of a, oh, it's gonna be a strap, okay. This is kind of a universal kit, so I, I think it gives you some other parts for other weeders that you know, kind of hook for it's like uh, I don't need any of that stuff. Um, it was really easy to change out. You saw all I did was unscrew this, and it's got a little push button at the bottom to unlatch it. You slide the old one out, pop this one in, tighten it up, it's ready to go.
Kevin has an idea for the bushes. Okay, tell what this is. It's one of those oscillating tools. Normally, okay, hold on, let's talk for one second. Normally we use this on the hardwood floor to cut out a notch yeah, in the in the wood. You can use it on whatever. So, mm -hmm. Kevin got the I idea. Back, um, you, I think you did. Mm -hmm. So, Kevin got the idea because the bottom of the bushes are wood. We've used this on wood. He's going to cut off the bottom and then we'll come back through and get we will stumps. we'll get the stumps. Yeah, we'll okay. dig them up. So, you know what? You can do as many as you, if this works, we can do as many as you feel like doing. Yeah. Um and then come back through and and I can throw them away or whatever. Okay. So, do you want me to do you want me to bend it over and step on it or anything? No. Okay. are gone and um, I'm here by myself and I went ahead and finished up the bushes we did I didn't tape it as I was going because I didn't have a really good way of recording it so Tammy will probably be mad that it didn't uh, didn't record the whole process but I cut them all up to where they're they're basically stumps now and uh, we'll just have to get rid of all these and uh, then dig out the stumps which will be the fun part sorry it's so windy
this wall is like bowed out really bad so we're thinking that we might um we're thinking honestly that we might have to take this wall down i'm thinking we might have to take it, the whole thing down completely because it's it's bowed bad it needs to come down i mean for me the sooner the better um but then you want to have something else up here so i don't know what we're going to do yet kevin was thinking he could if he took off the top half that he could leave the bottom half i don't think that's going to work because that is still going to be bowed so i i have a feeling that this whole wall it honestly is going to have to come out first thing kevin wants to do he wants to take down these uh, this shelf back here and then he's gonna have to move uh, my dad installed electricity here which was it's great it's a great idea but because this wall is not gonna be here anymore yeah, we're hoping to cut it off like right, here. right we're gonna have to move the electricity down on this pole that like, one and probably go over to that one if I got enough So we got the shelf off, we got the screws, we went on the other side of this and we got all the screws out, but they used a lot of nails. So each one of these boards at the top and at the bottom has nails and they used really good nails. And so Kevin is having to uh, pry, we're gonna have to pry off board by board. He was actually hoping that we wouldn't have to take this whole... Um, yeah, I was hoping I'd be able to just cut it in the middle and just leave the leave bottom it. half. But and it, the wood's so bad off. And it's better split. to just it's put a so railing. holes in it. And yeah, it's better to just put a whole new. Uh, just, gonna, just put a, just put all the the deck itself is solid. Yes. The the, the skirting around it is good. So yes. I think I can just put more of the little supports around and just put banisters up basically. It's a mess back here, <laughs> but all the posts are down and now we just have the flat deck and we'll still have to take all this stuff out front. Uh, we'll have to take it all out front, lay it down really neat, and then we'll call our uh, municipal utilities. They're the ones that pick up the garbage and they'll come by and they'll bring this big claw, this truck with a big claw, and they'll pick it up. So we'll have to, uh, we've got all that wood up there and then over here, uh, we have this wood over here that all has to go back there. So I'll show you what I've done. There was wood stacked up on the porch. I got the wood there. There was wood here. There was also wood over here on the side. It was piled up here. So I carried it all the way out here. Kevin still is working on switching out the um, electrical. I know you probably can't hear me because of that wind, but this is where I put all the wood. It's all out there on the uh, curb, so we'll have to call them in the morning and have them come get it. So I want to show you, we ended up taking the bushes down to the curb because Kevin called our local municipal company and they said they would pick up the bushes if we put them in a separate pile from the wood. And they said that they would have the claw truck come and pick them up. So I'm in the car by myself <laughs> because Kevin, uh, we're working on, we're gonna work on the deck. Kevin figured out the pieces of wood he needs for the deck and to put the railing because we're, we're just doing the railing and um so the piece of one of the pieces of wood he needs is like 16 foot long so it won't fit in our car won't fit in ashley's car we would have to have a trailer so what we did and even if somebody had a truck like jennifer's husband john has a truck but a 16 foot piece of wood is not going to fit in the back of his truck so what we did was we came and rented a u-haul which i don't know if you can see back here 
are the U-Haul trucks uh, out the window right there. And we rented a U-Haul for three hours. And so we're going to uh, drive, a, I'm, of course, I'm driving this car. But Kevin uh, is, I don't know what's taking him so long. But he's going in there, I guess, getting started. Yeah, he's getting started. But we're going to drive it to Lowe's. We're going to buy all the stuff that we need. Take it home in the U-Haul because that'll be big enough for all the pieces of wood we need. And then we'll bring the U-Haul back. So we rented it for three hours. I think it's like $45. And then I have to think you have to pay for like each additional mile. Um, but here is Kevin in the U-Haul. Yeah, there, there he goes. So I'm going to follow him. So now I'm in the U-Haul with Kevin. We're, we're, we're at Lowe's. I told Kevin, I don't think I've ever ridden in a U-Haul in my life. Ever. Because Kevin always drives the U-Haul whenever we've moved or whatever. I don't think I've ever been in one. So um, we're, we went in Lowe's and we bought the screws. And they said that you could go around back and buy all the wood and that there was a register around back. So that's what we're doing is we're going to go around back and we're going to buy the wood and the spindles and all that. You can, well. I can't go fast in this truck. Yeah. Oh, well, that's <laughs> it's a what slow I was truck. Yeah. So then Kevin, I'm going to just in riding with him because then he can take me back to his car. So this is out back at Lowe's and you go right through here. And then I guess we'll just, uh, we need to find out where we need to park to get what we want. So when you load your wood up, you have to start, stop at this uh, shack in the back so that they can inspect your receipt and make sure that you got exactly what you were supposed to get and that you paid for everything. So I had to unroll my window and I'm like, how do you unroll the window? Guess what? It's one of these. And it's been forever since I have had to do this number. So I just had to show you that because I thought it was hilarious. So this is what it looks like. This is why we rented the U-Haul though. There was a guy there at Lowe's trying to fit these big long boards in his, in his pickup truck. And I'm telling you, they were hanging out. Half of the board was hanging out. It was awful. So this is- Because I think a regular pickup truck is only eight feet. Yeah. So it was worth it to us to rent the U-Haul for yeah. this. So we got the total price for the U-Haul. Um, the total with everything was fifty-seven sixty-six, which um, you know, if we'd gotten delivery, we wouldn't have got to pick the wood. So with this, we got to pick the wood. Uh, it would have been fifteen dollars just to deliver it, and they would have picked up just whatever was on top, which a bunch of their wood is like bowed and, and capped and stuff, so it's not great. Kevin, really, that was important to him was choosing his own wood. Well, and... I just know. Well, even looking at it at the store you could tell a bunch of it was like bowed it's really no bad. different than the grocery pickers at kroger people have said that if kroger were at walmart wherever that if you get fruit then they're gonna pick whatever they're not gonna oh, yeah, they're look not gonna at look at it, it. they're like just gonna grab whatever it. whatever yeah. they first grab yeah so that was it 50 cents yeah i mean it is a little expensive but you know well, it is and, what it is and, yeah and, pizza and, truck payment every month yeah exactly <laughs> yeah and i don't mind it at all we got to pick our own wood and we didn't have to bother anybody else no. and like even if we had asked john john has a pickup truck he would have had to have used his trailer yeah and it and, would have been after he got off work it would, would have been a lot of trouble for him so yeah. for us it's just more worth it to do it ourselves yeah and it's done
taking stuff back. This is the car. Um, I think, I didn't count, but I think we have like 13 of those um, spindle-like things. They called them, they began the thing. Ballast? 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 Did they call it? No. I don't think he got banister. No, because banister is the top. He called them, I think he called them balusters or something. So anyway, we've got the trunk open. And because this big board, this is a 12 foot board. So I think, are you going to go through the neighborhood? Or are you going to go? I don't care which way you go. I just don't want anybody to get up on us. So anyway, we're going to take this stuff back to Lowe's. And the, the good thing about Lowe's is we've got a receipt. And even if we didn't, I think they would put the money back on our account. Um, because they're really, really good about Lowe's. these pieces of plastic lattice now lattice you could buy wood lattice we've had wood lattice um, in the past but this is plastic lattice and it was on the bottom of the deck it was, to, it was already purchased it you know we didn't have to buy it so I hate the color of it I do not like that brown and I've never liked it so I told Kevin I said I would like to keep it you know so we don't have to buy buy more why well, I have to buy more and just spray paint it black so that's what we're gonna do So it took Kevin over an hour to dig up the remainder of the stumps. There's two there and one here, which is huge. So that's three, four, and then five, six. So all the stumps are now gone, but well, they're going to be gone. I'm going to put them in this yard cart over here and I'm going to wheel them down to the curb and hopefully the utility company will pick them up. So the last thing we want to do is we want to pressure wash this deck. This pressure washer is a Troy build. I think we did a video of it when we first got it. Um, we used it twice. I mean, literally like used it twice and that was it and the thing broke. So uh, we had a guy come. It's the same guy that's fixed our lawnmower before. Usually he, he fixes our uh, lawnmower like one time. Every time we get a lawnmower, he'll fix it one time and then it's good for the lifetime of the lawnmower. So hopefully this will be good for the lifetime of the power washer so, or pressure washer. Um, what did he say was wrong with it? Perfect. 
the carburetor. So it was $80 to fix it, even though we had only used it like twice. Yeah, it's clogged up pretty bad. Though. Yeah, so it's, it's weird that it could get clogged up after two uses. So what Kevin's gonna do is he's going to pressure wash this deck. He's wearing his wellies. <laughs> um, but he's going to pressure wash this deck.
So Kevin got like 90% of it done and then it just started coming down. So at least he got as much done as he did. Um, but we'll have to go back out there and finish up another day. So we went in for a little while. It, it rained for just a little bit and now it's gone and the sun's shining. And so we, we, it's cooled off. So we came back outside and just so that we can get this done. We want to get the job done and uh, be able to say that we're finished. So it's a good thing Kevin finished the pressure washing because it quit long enough for us to finish and then it started pouring down again. Just crazy, crazy. And the lightning, we're having a lightning show. This has been happening uh, so uh, a lot lately, <laughs> that we've had a lot of lightning lately. But it's coming down in sheets. It is, yeah, amazing. So I'm out here the next day and the storms are gone and it rained quite a bit. So like you can see, there's some leaves up here on the deck, but I want you to see how clean it is and how open it feels without that wall. That wall was just closing this yard in so much and uh, now it's just so open. And so this is how it looks. I had forgotten these bricks were red. It's just these pavers were red. It's amazing. And so we haven't done anything over here. We need to buy some dirt, of course. We'll fill in uh, where it's dipped with dirt and we'll put grass seed and stuff like that. So that doesn't look, um, you know, perfect or anything like that. But we're finished for now. And this uh, edging right here, there's probably, what, one, two, th there's four, five pavers right there. Those five pavers, I'll move those and we'll just have those down there. We just need to move those five. Kevin, we just need to move those five pavers. 
up to the red those five I just want to move those um, but then the sidewalk you can see it down there uh, next to the gate how white that is I don't think that had ever been pressure washed in all the years that anyone's lived here but I'm very very happy with it like I said it's nice and open now and uh, we're not closed in and we're not out here very often anyway but I'm glad that we we got it done